Is the person gonna take care of the truck? Everyone has to have insurance. As we go through, you'll see here the difference in where your expenses start to accumulate. If you're having to pay your driver, pay broker fees, pay your parking storage, and of course, insurance, fuel, maintenance, and repairs. Guys, that is a lot. This is Jay Mancini. Welcome to my channel, where we keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. And guys, today we're gonna be talking about the major expenses of a dump truck business. So the other day, I was having several requests from a few individuals if we can go ahead and dive in a little deeper into the expenses of a dump truck business so guys this one's for you it was a group of guys and i told them i would make this video so next up guys the major expenses of a dump truck business first things first guys insurance as you already know everyone has to have insurance right well let me tell you insurance cost is going to vary depending on the following. Just like your personal vehicle, the driver. And what I mean by the driver is the person driving the commercial truck or that dump truck, do they have a good record? Of course, if they have a good record, then your insurance costs will be less. Now, if the person driving that dump truck, in this case, if it's yourself, if you have a good record, then you're probably gonna get a lower rate. Now, if you don't and your record is not good, then as you probably already know, you're probably gonna get a higher premium. So that's the number one thing that determines insurance. Now, if it's a driver, same thing for the driver. If he has a good record, then you should get a good premium, meaning you're gonna pay less. But if the driver has a bad record, has speeding tickets or anything of that nature, then you can expect for your premium to be higher. So what I've done here, guys, is I've kind of put a medium basis. And what I mean about medium is, your typical average on a yearly basis is 10 to 30,000. This is what I've seen in most cases for the last, you know, several years. Now, what I kind of did is I used a medium, meaning I used about 15,000 a year. If you divide that by 12 months, you're gonna get $1,250 a month. And that's the reason why I got $1,250 a month here for your insurance premium. Again, that could vary depending on the person's record, right? The next thing is fuel. Fuel, I have about $3,500 a month. Now, why do I have $3,500 a month? This varies depending on how many days the truck will work for the month. Now, if you haven't already seen our previous videos, should I buy a dump truck using credit? We go more into that breakdown of how this breaks down to $3,500 a month based on the days the truck works. And in that video, it was 20 days. And here, we're gonna stick to the same method, working only 20 days a month, okay? Now, 20 days a month, we got $3,500 a month as a whole, and that's about $175 a day. On fuel costs, 175, if you're working 20 days, that's $3,500 a month. Remember, it could vary. If you work more days, you're gonna have more fuel costs for the month, but also you're gonna earn more money for that month, right? Number three, maintenance. Maintenance, I have a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Now, here, guys, I'm being very conservative. If you have a good driver, or if you yourself is driving the truck, then you're probably gonna take really good care of it. I'm assuming you will. You might not have a thousand or definitely not $1,500 in cost as far as maintenance. It may be significantly lower than this, which I hope it is. Number four, you have repairs. Repairs, I have about $1,500. Again, this is being conservative, and this is going back to the person driving the truck. Is the person gonna take care of the truck? Well, if you're taking care of your truck and you're doing the proper maintenance, then you're probably not going to have $1,500 in repairs. But if you do, I have factored $1,500 a month in repairs. And those guys are the four main expenses that you're gonna have in a dump truck or in the dump truck business. However, there's some additional expenses. I have put the following expenses because it probably could be your case, especially if you're starting in the dump truck business, where you may have to pay the following, a driver. Now, as we go through, you'll see here the difference and we'll actually add up all the expenses. But a driver in this case, guys, is going to take a significant amount of your expense for the month. What I have here is $3,500 to $4,000 a month. Now, guys, I want you to keep something in mind. We're in Texas, okay? I keep getting comments of people in other states like California and up north, uh, Ohio, New York. Guys, cost of living, I'll be sincere with you, is significantly lower in Texas. Texas. That's why we have a whole bunch of people moving into Texas. I couldn't tell you how many people are moving into Texas, okay? I love the state of Texas and it's a great state to be in and I don't blame them from wanting to move here, okay? So this is again, based on what a driver would make here, average 
a dump truck driver, uh, what they would make here in a month, okay? The following is broker fees. Now in the dump truck world, again, here in Texas, most dump truck uh, brokers are gonna charge about six to 7% broker fee. In your state, again, it could be different, it could vary, it could be more, it could be less, okay? But here's about six to 7%. So if you do six to 7%, going based off a gross of $14,000, which is what the truck would make in a month, you have $840 to $980 a month, okay? The following is parking storage. Everybody needs parking storage here. Parking storage is about $100 a month. Again, it could be less. If you're parking the truck outside of your house, you don't have to pay that. It's, you're, you're avoiding that parking storage fee, right? But I am plugging that in just so that you know and you're aware of it because most people have to pay parking storage. So guys, let's go ahead and add up the expenses. For now, let's go ahead and start adding the four major expenses. Number one, insurance, $1,250. Fuel, $3,500. Maintenance, let's go with $1,000 for now. And repairs, $1,500. So when you add up those four, we have $7,250. Now, if this is all you're gonna have in expenses, then I think you're in pretty good shape. If we subtract $7,250 from $14,000, you're gonna have the remaining balance, $6,750. So now we're gonna go into more expenses, okay? Now, if you only have those expenses, again, you're in pretty good shape. However, if you're having to pay your driver, right, now you'll start to see where your expenses start to accumulate. You have an additional $3,500 to $4,000. If you're having to pay broker fees, you have an additional $840 to $980 a month. And if you're having to pay parking storage, you have an additional $100 a month. Now you have $4,940 in additional expenses. So we're gonna do the following. We're gonna add 7,250 plus 4,940. You have a grand total of $12,190 in expenses. Guys, that is a lot. So. I hope this gives you a little bit more clarity of the breakdown of the major expenses and the additional expenses you will have if you own a dump truck. So with this being said, guys, you have to keep in mind what is going to work best for you. In the video, should I buy a dump truck using credit? I go into the details, whether it's convenient for you or not, or whether it benefits you or not, buying a dump truck using credit. So that's another thing to keep in mind. This does not include a loan, right? On the truck. However, with that being said, if you're buying the truck outright, you don't have to worry about having a loan. And I'm gonna also suggest that if you're buying the truck outright, that you're probably in a good financial situation and maybe you can afford to have a driver. But in my humble opinion, I would try to avoid, if you have a driver, try to avoid having a driver that you don't already know. And what I mean by that is the following, okay? And I'm being very sincere with you guys. A driver, I like to say, can sometimes make you or break you. And what I mean by that is, if you have a good driver, guys, remember what I said at the beginning? He's gonna reduce your repair costs. He's gonna reduce your maintenance costs. And believe it or not, he's even gonna reduce your fuel costs. If he drives really well, he'll help you save fuel. He'll help you save maintenance. He'll help you save repairs, which at the end of the day, will reduce this number here, right? So you might not mind paying him this here, the 3,500 or the $4,000 a month. Now, the other thing I would also highly suggest is talking to a broker that may be able to give you a lower brokerage fee. Again, I don't know in your state what the broker percentage is, but here in Texas in the dump truck business, it's six to 7%, right? And if you're parking somewhere, you know, of course, if you park at your house, you get to save the, the parking storage or try parking somewhere where, you know, maybe it's a group of guys and you guys can all get together and talk to the owner and maybe they'll be uh, able to give you a lower rate for parking your truck there since it's a group of guys that are all parking together. So guys, I wanna emphasize on how important the driver plays a role on your bottom line. As I was saying, the driver will make you or break you. Let me dive a little deeper into that. As you'll see here, obviously we're talking a median income, again, here in the state of Texas for a dump truck driver, 3,500 to $4,000 a month. So when we added this up, we came up to $4,940, including the four major expenses of 7,250, you're now at $12,190. I know what you're thinking, guys. 
wait, my truck grows 14,000 and I have 12,190 in expenses. Well, this is me just kind of breaking it all down to you guys and trying to give you some clarity on the situation. What does that leave you with? $1,810. Now you're probably thinking, Jay, $1,810, that's it? Well, if you're going through all of this, which more than likely, if you're having to pay your driver, you're having to pay broker fees, you're having to pay your parking storage, and of course the inevitable insurance, fuel, maintenance and repairs, it's gonna be pretty close to that. So that is the reason why it's very important that you have a good driver. Why? Because going back to the very beginning, one, if you have a good driver, he's gonna probably have what? A good record, meaning a good driving record, meaning you may pay less in insurance than $1,250. Your insurance may only be $900. Your insurance may only be $1,000. That's an additional two, $300 that you get to add to this bottom line in profit. Next thing, fuel. If you got a good driver, he's probably, believe it or not, gonna consume or help the truck consume less fuel. Why? Because the guy knows how to drive the truck. Saves you more when it comes to miles to the gallon and fuel. Maintenance. If it's a good driver, there's less maintenance that you're going to have to do on your truck. And of course, as the owner, it's important for you to also keep track of this. Keep logs of your maintenance. Repairs. Same as maintenance. If you're good on maintenance, you keep track of your maintenance and you have a good driver, there's less repairs. So now you start to shrink your costs. You start to shrink the fuel, the maintenance, the repairs, and you start to add more to the bottom line, okay? Now, if you just want to avoid everything I just mentioned as a whole, then you probably already figured it out. You have to eliminate a driver. By you eliminating the driver, and in this case, you being the driver, then automatically you added that $3,500 to $4,000 to the $1,810. And more than likely, what we just covered, insurance, fuel, maintenance, and repairs will also be less. So now we're talking not only $3,500 or $4,000 a month in driver expenses, but also saving on the other four major expenses. Ultimately, we're talking anywhere between, let's just say, 3,500 here, and let's say you save another 200, 200, let's say another 200 and maybe another 200 here, we have additional, let's just call it overall about $4,000 in savings. So now, what do you get? When you add 4,000 and 1,810, 5,800, and ten dollars and that is a significant difference right especially when we're talking throughout the course of the year on a monthly basis when you start to add this up guys let me bear with me here let me do the numbers let's say five thousand eight hundred and ten times twelve we're looking at sixty nine to seventy thousand dollars a year now that's a lot of money so guys i hope that this has brought clarity to the breakdown of expenses when you own a dump truck. Of course, even if you're a broker, you already know this. The only thing you're avoiding from here is the broker fees. Everything else, as ourselves, we're still having to pay a driver because again, I don't drive the truck. So I'm having to pay a driver. Obviously I'm not paying a broker fees, but as I mentioned before in another video, it's extremely important that you have a good driver. And of course that you have a good relationship with that driver. By the way, guys, we have something special for you. We've been getting a lot of comments and I've been getting a lot of messages and a lot of individuals from all across the country and even across the, the world have been actually asking me a lot of questions. So we decided guys that we wanna go live with you and I wanna personally answer some of the questions that you've guys been asking me. But first guys, help us reach 1,000 subscribers by April 1st. Hit the subscribe button and guys, comment below, and we will have also in our comments below, you're gonna have on the description how you can save a seat to be at our live meetup. I hope to see you there, guys, next month. So help us reach 1,000 subscribers. So guys, subscribe, like, and share, and we may even do some giveaways. Guys, see you soon. This is Jay Mancini, where we keep the wheels rolling, and you already know, the cash flowing.